Everybody knows the new Mer Monkey Tower that just dropped in BTD6, but people don't know what a 555 looks like. Now, this is only a 333, but you gotta smash that smash button, like that like button, and I'm gonna put up a 555 on the screen, and you're gonna love it. I don't know, sorry if that sounded like a threat, but we're gonna start off with our boy, the 000 Mer Monkey, and I'm gonna see. I've tested it out just to make sure the 555 really works. I have no idea what it does. I didn't look at the attacks, I didn't look at anything, so I'm about just as clueless as you. And a lot of you have been giving me facts in the comments of my other videos about the mermonkey about the mermonkey so thank you for that because i'm literally clueless and i'm a little less clueless but right now we're gonna go ahead and get up that trident efficiency baby this is gonna let it attack a little bit faster and uh i want that now we're probably also just gonna go for trident swiftness too i mean it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to let him shoot slower when i can make him shoot faster if that makes sense now let's just go echo sense precision and echo sense network for those of you that don't know what that does it gives our boy some camo detection and and it gives him a little bit of a range buff so if i wanted to put even more of these echo sense networks i'd get an even bigger range buff but i'm not gonna do that right now because we're focusing on getting a 555 which means i'll probably also want a banana farm huh yeah all right let's get ourselves a little banana farm going on up in the top right honestly i don't even need a farmer because i can just go for like greater production or something and then i can just go for that bottom path if i need a farmer but i also want to make sure i don't die so let's go for sharper prongs which will give it more pierce and maybe even title chill which freezes the balloons by the way like I, I don't know why he just has ice abilities but the ice monkey is a primary but not a magic but he has ice abilities and he's a magic i don't know it doesn't make sense to me it's like why wouldn't the ice just be a freaking it doesn't matter it doesn't matter it doesn't matter we're focusing on the mer monkey here we're actually focusing on getting some racks up we need some freaking munyon we need some freaking cheddar cheese up in here because your boy's broke but we do have a 222 mer monkey and that's that's pretty cool on its own now judging by our inability to defeat everything uh because we're, we're kind of trash as it stands i think i'm gonna get up an abyss dweller before i even did you see that range shrink by the way that was weird i'm not very thankful for that range shrink but whatever now like ideally i want to save up for uh for a banana plantation but i'm gonna need a cannon huh yeah because this guy doesn't hit leads until freaking tier four for some reason oh but this guy gets a buff though wait let me read this the abyssal creature awakens angrily lashing out at balloons with powerful tentacles and granting nearby monkeys a small pierce increase okay now i thought that would have only been for like other mer monkeys or maybe even just other magic monkeys but this affects the cannon so it goes for every single monkey now i do wonder does that buff the the true sun god or like the vtsg because if so yo every little buff on a vtsg counts bro because that thing is strong as hell not stronger than clicking the like button but let's go for a little banana plantation baby because who doesn't love a little banana plantation and uh i'll probably go for valuable bananas and it's about time to start going for like that banana salvage in that marketplace so that i don't have to keep my freaking cursor over here on the banana farm but we're gonna need this guy regardless because you know your boy needs money and money does indeed grow on trees we've got that three two three banana farm over here we've got a three two two more monkey now this is where things are gonna start getting weird i don't know what's gonna happen we're gonna go for the alluring melody because i know this is what you guys are excited to see and i know this is what i'm excited to see for those of you that don't know the alluring melody is basically i'm not even gonna read it off of there it's basically just gonna like suck balloons in pause and it's gonna make them rotate and orbit around the tower so we're gonna see right now when i use it you can see that these balloons are going around in a circle but we still got the abyss dweller on it too that's pretty freaking cool i really like that i think that's really neat we're also gonna put down benjamin right next to this freaking 323 farm because he'll make us some decent money too dude this looks so sick wait whoa, whoa, whoa wait though wait though wait though because this guy has like a little pink crown on him right i'm pretty sure yeah that's the alluring melody but it's on top of the abyss dweller oh dude that's awesome so look like he's literally on top of the abyss dweller but he is the alluring melody that is cool oh and we've got a moab coming up so let's go for that riptide champion and now you can see it's a riptide champion on top of the abyss dweller instead of the alluring melody guy on top of the abyss dweller but let's see we should be able to handle this moab pretty well we've got benjamin's little ability over here so we'll go ahead and give it a use why not we're on log so yeah there we go and it's still circling around the ceramics and we're still destroying the ceramics bro this is awesome you know thinking about it like ninja kiwi should definitely add like one tower that can be in vanilla and be ultimate cross path 
kind of like this, bro. I'm not going to lie. If you could get a 555 Mermonkey in vanilla, bro, that might make it an actual viable tower. Or maybe even the Beast Handler. Because honestly, this guy sucks solo. Or not solo, but as he is. And he sucks solo. He sucks with other people too. Pause. There's a lot of pauses in this video today. Okay, I want to save up for a banana research. Oh my goodness. The camo purples are everywhere. We're going to pretend like that didn't happen. And we're just going to go ahead and switch our lives to 200 again. Even though I think it was at 100. Doesn't matter. I need camo purple defense apparently. Oh, I also need fortified lead defense. But this guy does have alluring melody. So I think I'm going to be able to pop him. Yeah, that's weird. Well, I don't know. I think I'm chilling for right now. There's not many camo purples that just spawn in. So I think I should be good to go. Oh, never mind. I eat my words. Okay, we're going to go right here. We're going to go bigger radius. And we're going to go for that MIB. There we go. Yeah, now we can take care of everything we need. And I want to sell this MIB once I get, yeah, like right here. So I can get that banana research facility. I just need that extra money, bro. I can get the MIB back like right now. I just need that freaking extra money because your boy does not have it. Now let's delete this cannon over here because we have the MIB so we can destroy leads. And we can start going for some fourth tiers, bro. I'm excited to see what happens. So let's go for the Abyssal Warrior. This will coat the tridents in a thick ink that slows balloons. So we're thinking kind of like a glue gunner almost. The Abyssal Creature grows in power, destroying most balloons with ease and enhancing nearby monkeys with even more pierce. RIP to the cannon that I just destroyed. It would have got a bigger buff. But let's go for that Abyssal Warrior. And now we should be absolutely set with these mobs. You can see the little black ink that's kind of in between those spikes from the Trojan virus. I don't know. I, I think it's a pretty sick looking tower. I mean, it, it low-key looks kind of emo too with the hair covering the eye. I know I'm not talking, but like, you know what I mean? It's like this. And now, I mean, we should be generating a crap ton of money. I, I don't think, I don't think, we'll get a central market. Why not? We'll get one central market. But other than that, I don't think we're going to need any more monkeys. So we're chilling with our 433 right, right now. And honestly, bro, I keep looking at Symphonic Resonance because I like Symphonic Resonance. I think it's a fantastic upgrade. I think this whole bottom path is pretty cool, but I, I really like the Symphonic Symphonic Resonance the most. So let's get that right before we have to deal with the BFB. And look at that, bro. We just suck the BFB in and it starts rotating. That's freaking awesome. This guy looks so dope too with the full pink like look. And he's on top of the Abyssal Warrior. It really looks like a freaking sea creature monster freak. I don't know. I really like it. We pop down that BFB and I mean, obviously we're set. Come on now. It's the 434 Mer Monkey, bro. You can't mess with that. And I think I'm gonna chill for a little bit. You know, I'm gonna chill. I'm gonna put down uh, because we do have the money. I mean, $87,000. We have the money for this. We're going to go for a little perma spike over here. And you know what? I was going to get an alchemist, but I can just go for white hot spikes so that we can see leads. We're going to put this on close. And whenever this guy starts taking damage, we'll start upgrading our 434, right? Because Arctic Knight, I know the ability is absolutely stacked. And I know like the default attack is already a pretty freaking good default attack. Like the, the boy does some pretty decent damage. Although it is like $8,000. It's probably not worth it in a normal game. But he's still pretty freaking cool i don't know i like it i think the mer monkey's pretty cool i don't think he's good but i think he's pretty cool but in the meanwhile i just really want to see how this 434 acts i want to see if we can get up to round 80 because i don't know if we're going to be able to beat uh even like round 78 honestly 76 those rounds with a bunch of balloons like really clustered i don't know if we're going to be able to beat that but for right now we can get up a freaking banana central we might as well make some money if we're here i mean come on now matter of fact i might even go for a monkey wall street just to go for it i just really really enjoyed like how it pulls around the freaking moabs and it starts like swinging them around like they're dancing or something i don't know i think it's really cool let's go for that monkey wall street 525 par bank i was gonna say bank i don't know what par is but i was gonna say bank but it's not a bank it's a banana farm and we got level 11 uh sushi bento over here so we're pretty good on money i, th I think we'll have enough money to be able to go for this 555 once we want to i'm surprised yeah round 76 we absolutely smoked that round okay so round 78 is probably going to be just as easy although it is gonna have some bfbs dude look at this bro look at this the freaking they had like 10 moabs just swinging around it round 78 is literally nothing it's just some rainbows and bfbs i thought it was gonna be a lot more difficult i guess not i uh, dude I, I don't know it just makes me happy oh round 79 is the one with the regen rainbows okay i need to keep that in my brain because i thought it was round 78 i love when it just swings i i, I know i keep saying it but look at it bro it's so freaking cool it even does it to fortified b80s which i'm really happy for because fortified 
BFBs suck. Now we're on that round 80, baby. Come on. I don't need... Okay, this guy does have pops, but like it's it's because of the BFBs. Do we have enough damage in the 434 to like... Ooh, we might not. Yeah, this isn't looking good, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go for that Arctic Knight over here. Now we got the Arctic Knight on the Lord of the Abyss. That looks freaking sick, bro. He looks like a warrior. Now we should be able to pop the ZOMG if we go ahead and use that ability up. Now we got the snowballs flying out and everything. That should have done a decent bit of damage. But uh-oh, it's getting a little scary. I'm not gonna lie. We're gonna go ahead and use Ben's ability. Can we pop it down? If we can pop it down, we should be good, right? We should be good, right? We should be good. Come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, dude, we would have barely died there if I didn't have the spike factory. Okay, never mind. Maybe not barely. I would have lost like 5,000 lives. But regardless, we beat the freaking ZOMG and now we have a 4-4-4 four, 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 Muramonkey, baby. Now it's time to see how good this guy is. And I think what I'm going to do, right? Because I'm kind of lazy. I don't like to have to press a button every so often. When I can just plop down a little guy over here, I can put this little Ted bot. Go ahead and sync him up. Boom, there we go. Now, whenever this guy's got his little ice jet, ice balls ability, he's just going to shoot him out. I don't even got to do nothing. I can just leave him here forever and I'll just shoot ice balls. I guess forever or until he dies, but he's a 444 mer monkey. The dude better live. And you know what? Let's see how much money we can save until I gotta upgrade this guy again. Cause I do already have like a third of a million dollars. Like we're saving up some big bucks over here. It's just the ZOMGs that are kind of scary right now. Cause we don't have very good like single damage, uh, single balloon damage. We're very good at clustered balloons, right? As you can see, we just smoked those BFBs. We smoked those Moabs. We're gonna smoke these fortified BFBs because they're only fortified bfbs but the zomgs are like i think it's four thousand health per that zomg layer and it's like yeah having four of them bro it's a scary it's scary business because we just don't do that much damage but i think we do more damage the more balloons there are or something because this guy's just so good at freaking clustered balloon damage well there's half a million we've saved half a million haven't upgraded this guy not once i mean it's still a 444 as you can see but we're gonna have to upgrade him eventually and ddts are gonna start coming out and i'm not saying that he's gonna Gonna he's gonna be defeated by the DDTs because like I'm sure we can handle some freaking DDTs. Oh, oh, whoa, he would have died there, huh? I mean, it's not that big, right? We can wait for the DDTs at the very least to start upgrading him, right? So here we go, DDT Central. How are we gonna behave with these? Okay, it looks like that guy's pretty cracked, but he's not like, he's not like cracked all the way. You know, he could be more cracked, but he popped and that other guy popped. So now we just got this last guy to pop and there it is, okay. But yo, I'm not gonna lie, taking that long to pop three DDTs is kind of sus when you're trying to survive, bro. But look at him throw around these freaking mobs and stuff. Isn't that awesome? Okay, my bad. My bad, my bad. I keep, I keep talking about it. It's just really cool to me. I apologize. So yeah, honestly, if I'm being real, like this round, I would expect to die on. Yeah, and, and we will die here. Well, we won't, but we would have. So now I guess we'll go with the cheapest fifth tier, right? We're going to start off with the final harmonic. This elder can echo its irresistible tune anywhere on some... I actually don't know what it sounds like. I've never heard it before. I don't know. Maybe later I'll, I'll test it after the video. While devastating to the balloons, the call inspires nearby heroes with improved range and cooldowns and magic monkeys get extra pierce. So let's go ahead and get up that final harmonic. This should be enough. Yeah, because this does spin around the uh, the ZOMGs and stuff, and it should do it pretty freaking fast. And I think now, yeah, it's going to do a lot more group damage to the ZOMGs and stuff. So that should be wonderful. Oh, and the DDTs are getting... Oh my goodness. Yeah, the DDTs are getting absolutely clobbered ever since we got this and we still got two more tier fives to go bro and it works with all tier fives which means we're gonna have literally three of the mermonkeys tier fives on that one tower so if you haven't hit subscribe already what are you doing dude the ring around the rosy it plays with these freaking zomgs is so funny and the main reason that it does more damage isn't because it gets like a strength buff right the reason i really wanted the final harmonic not just because it's the cheapest but because we have more time to actually damage things so look on round 95 we got the ddts here and they're fast but they all get caught in that little circle loop here but i don't know if it's gonna be enough oh it's not okay yeah that's not enough huh i mean we're still alive it's not like we're dead but i should probably go for the lord of the abyss huh so the lord of the abyss is the fully unleashed wrath of the abyssal creature that brings the power of the depths to the surface i don't know what that means i don't know what the power of the depths are i've never been that far in the ocean but it annihilates most balloons and greatly enhances the pierce of nearby abilities 
abilities. Did I say abilities? I meant monkeys. Um, my, my point that I was gonna make, though, before I realized I stuttered, was that the final harmonic gives magic monkeys extra pierce. So if you have both the top path and the bottom path of the mer monkey, and say you put down like a true sun god or even just a legend of the night, that guy's gonna be pretty freaking stacked in pierce, bro. Now that said, pierce isn't anything like damage or speed. Like, I'd rather have damage than pierce, but still, I don't know. That, that's a good buff on a great tower. But anyways, let's go for that Lord of the Abyss. And oh my goodness, I can't tell if uh, if the final harmonic like little loop thing just ended as soon as I bought that or if the BFBs literally disappeared. I think they might have disappeared. But now, as you can see, we are doing a lot more damage to these ZOMGs and BFBs and stuff. They are absolutely getting smoked. But we still have one more upgrade, the Pop Sidon. But we don't need to get that yet. We don't need to get that yet. Just keep it in the back of your mind. Be like, oh, Marquis TD6 got me, bro. He's going to let me see the Pop Sidon, the full 555 five, five, or a monkey in a little bit though because we got to see how far this 545 goes before we start fumbling and you know the spike factory has to be like hey i'm the champ of all this i'll save you but dude we're on round 99 taking down a bunch of fortified ddts that that's an improvement that's an improvement we're on round 100 i'm a little scared i'm a little scared i'm not gonna lie guys i'm not gonna lie because uh, we just don't have good single dps like look we're doing maybe a few hundred a second so you know what i'm gonna do you know what i'm gonna do we're gonna go ahead it's round 100 we're gonna get up that freaking pop side and pop side in ice jet ability draws such power that a rogue wave floods the map with super cooled water freezing all balloons and reclaiming the weak for the sea i don't really know what reclaiming the weak for the sea means but let's freaking get it this guy better do some good damage you can see we're already starting to crack this guy oh my goodness look at how fast he's freaking shooting too oh my goodness oh my goodness we got the pop side in ability hold up hold up wait i want to use the pop side in ability don't destroy it too quick pop side in ability we got that little wave going i don't think the wave does as much as it should i think they should buff the wave do you guys think they should buff the wave because that wave kind of sucked but we beat round one freaking hundred with the five 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 mer monkey ladies and gentlemen now the question is how far can this freaking freak creepazoid go and as you can see, bro, he's freaking Pop Sidon standing on top of this white, creepy, tentacle creature platform. And he's got that pink ring that goes around him whenever the balloons get in the range and it makes the balloons go around. Dude, honestly, bro, they should just make a paragon of the Mermonkey. I know it just came out and I know there's other towers that might want a paragon like the Mortar maybe or the freaking Cannon or the, the Boomerang already has one. What am I talking about? Or the Tack Shooter or the Ice Monkey. Honestly, the Ice Monkey could use a paragon, but I feel like the Mermonkey is just it's such a paragonable tower that the fact that it doesn't have one is like really really like this this looks like a sick paragon right here and it's only a 555 but we're gonna see how far this guy goes because i'm genuinely curious we're on round 106 right now absolutely destroying everything and i think you know what I, i'm gonna keep it as it is right now i'm gonna just let it be i'm not gonna do anything but once we do die with just the 555 i also want to see how far we can go if we buff the 555 so we're talking perma brew we're talking freaking energy uh energizer we're talking freaking overclock we're talking uh everything i don't know like like everything i'll, I'll even get a freaking true sun god support sun god if i have to i just want to make bank also this round is super laggy for some reason but let's go ahead obviously we're clobbering round 111 right that didn't even get halfway let's try round 140 round 140 is infamous for the first fbad fortified bad right here ladies and gentlemen are we going to be able to pop it with just our 555 or should i have to get like oh i might have to get some buffs on him bro honestly i'm kind of glad i did that so quick because now i don't even have to waste time i can go over here get me up a little permanent brew i can go over here get me up a uh, an energizer we're gonna go ahead and get up a little energizer i can get up as well as an, as an energizer i can get up an ultra boost and i can ultra boost our 555 freaking dude i can go over here i can get uh jungle drums and then go for homeland defense like Ew. But I'm not going to lie, we're, we're still going to die because I kind of didn't get it in time. But thankfully, the Spike Factory comes in clutch. Please. How did I still lose? I got a freaking 555 Spike Factory. Okay, we'll continue. Whatever. Oh, I also need a Support Sun God too. I forgot about that. So we'll get a freaking Support Sun God because I said I'd do that. Actually, maybe we won't because uh, I guess we got a true Sun God for support. Whatever. So now I'm thinking we should do way better. Yeah, and this guy's doing like no damage, bro. He's so caca. But let's see. This guy should be doing way more damage just enough to pop that f bad suck in the freaking zomgs there we go 
This is the 555 Murder Monkey I know and love, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and sync this guy up to that guy, this guy up to this guy, and uh, maybe put this down to 99 so that the freaking massive effects don't show up. Oh, look at those projectiles, bro. This thing is going so fast. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Holy crap, this guy is yucky. What else can I even do to buff him? Is there anything? I mean, I guess I can get like an embrittlement and stuff. And I guess I can go super glue, but we're starting to lag already and I'm not even speeding it up. So you know what? Now let, let, let's get let's get a little risky, right? We'll go to around 169 because a little funny number, a little, little funny number. Obviously, our Mer Monkey is going to be the one doing all the damage, right? I don't expect anyone else here to do literally anything because they all suck at attacking. But bro, our boy, the Mer Monkey is so freaking laggy once you buff him like that is that is a bad amount of lag for something that shouldn't be lagging so much that said I, I think we're pretty set on destroying everything um maybe even my pc i think my pc might be the biggest freaking sacrifice of all it's nice to know that we at least got that 22 dollar balloon trojan freaking thing from ben i don't i don't know why he still does that at round 169 but it's, it's cool but look bro we're, okay we're, we're, we're lagging again okay i thought it was gonna stop lagging we had approximately one second of time before it stopped lagging and uh you know i enjoyed that one second second of time i accidentally pressed a button to bring it out i didn't mean to do that oh dude this oh no this lag is getting bad bro it wasn't responding for a second i saw it it said btd6 is not responding is this gonna be it is this gonna be it it was in fact it 